After like a certain amount of time, it's just like... I don't know, things just felt so hopeless. Is this what the managers want to see? This? I would see new faces at Amazon. And after like two weeks, they would be gone. So I quit. Hi everyone, what's up? This is Chris from Amazon. Wait, before we get started, let me just, you know. Yes, here it is boys and girls. So in three, two, one. Hey, hey, look at that. Look at this, Amazon. Today I want to talk about what you can expect working at Amazon. I know many of you are watching this video right now because you got a job at Amazon. Amazon just hired 100,000 people to join their workforce and you're probably one of them. Today I'm going to share my experience what it's like to work at Amazon. And if you guys haven't seen already, check out my other video where I did a day in my life at Amazon. And it was my last day too so it was something that was kind of special. Also I want to add a disclaimer that there's a lot of different Amazon warehouses that you can work at. There's like the fulfillment center, what's the what everyone thinks about, and then there's the sortation station, which is uh where the boxes get organized and put in places and delivered to other Amazon warehouses. There's also the delivery station, which is the one that I worked at, which is basically like all the packages come to our warehouse from the fulfillment center. Let's start from the beginning. I started working at Amazon on November 2016 and I left Amazon on March 2019 which is a little bit about more than two years. Uh, so my first year at Amazon was great. It was just a normal job, you know, you just gotta do your thing. At this time I was going to community college so going to school and doing this job wasn't too hard for me. So on my shift there was about like 60 to 80 people working at the same time. A couple of different jobs at Amazon are like, first we have the water spiders. Pretty much they're the pallet drivers and then they, they pallet drive from the truck to the belt. Then we have the unloaders which pretty much take that pallet of boxes and they cut it up and throw it on the belt. Do that for 8 hours. Then you have the diverters who organize the box by standing by the belt for 8 hours a day. You can see that in my video. It goes to a secondary belt where a scanner takes the package and puts it in a little tote, the orange totes. I just want to mention that like Amazon has these code names for like each job. Like there's store, there's diverter, there's um water spider. If you work at Amazon you know these terms. Usually in the beginning, a manager just puts you in one spot for like two weeks and eventually you'll branch out to different jobs so eventually you'll be able to do all of them. And I guess you can kind of choose your job, it's kind of flexible. You just tell your manager be like, hey, I kind of like this job better than the other job. And if there's a little spot open, there you go. There's also a lot of benefits that Amazon provides. I was a part-time worker, so I didn't get all of the benefits, but I can share you the ones that I did get. As a part-time blue badge employee, you get vision, you get dental, and you get health pay. More details here. <laughs> pay isn't the same as health insurance from what I understood. Um, I think they give you $500 a year or $10 a week to um, pay for any medical stuff which isn't a lot but something I guess you know but $500 a year uh, I don't think so. Amazon also pays for school but there are a couple contingencies on that. They only cover like certain majors like computer science, there was engineering, healthcare, I believe that's it. Oh and accounting. Um, they only pay for like an associate's degree, so if you have if you're working on your bachelor's or master's, it's like a it isn't much money either. It's like if you're part time, it's fifteen hundred, and if you're full time, it's three thousand. And you have to be working for Amazon for over a year to even actually get this tuition assistance. For me, though, I was going to community college, working on my computer science degree, so I fit all the criteria. So that was good. Also another cool thing you get at Amazon is these cool t-shirts. Let me see if I can find some of these t-shirts. Alright 
right, guys. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. All right, found deep, very deep in my closet. I found them, my Amazon shirts. All right, for my first shirt, it's my 2017 Prime Day T-shirt. Oh, don't you guys wish you had this? There we go. It says Amazon Logistics, an epic day of deals on everything you're into. Pretty much Prime Day, what it is, it's like it's like Black Friday in the summer. Terrible day in the warehouse. So I remember that day. Usually we hit around like 30 to 40k a night of packages. But this day, this day we hit over like 55k in the warehouse. And our warehouse is small too, so this that plus it was the summer. Because working in the warehouse in like 110 degree weather, it was just... Whew, glad I don't work there anymore. For my next shirt, we have... This one. Amazon Logistics Peak 2017. I really like this one because it's like super simplistic. Amazon Logistics Peak 2018. Yes, 2018. Delivering smiles. On the back, last smile, hashtag behind the smile. Now I want to get into some of the cons that working at Amazon, just to prepare you guys so you're ready. For the most part, Amazon is a warehouse job. You can pretty much expect to be doing is moving boxes around for 8 to 10 hours, walking on your feet, and lifting packages that range from like 5 pounds to like 40 pounds. So you better make sure that you're physically in shape if not you're gonna be in shape so get ready and at Amazon you can wear pretty much anything you want I'm usually in the summer I would just wear what I would wear to a gym shorts t-shirt underpants sneakers the summer at Amazon warehouse it's freaking hot here here can go up to like 110 degrees and the warehouse is just standstill hotness, no fans or small ass fans that don't cover the whole warehouse. Just, oh my god, it's just, you're just sweaty all the time and yeah, lift all these packages. And you know, it's a warehouse, so I get it, but damn. You know, at my job, we used to have to work in these. So we're required to wear one of these. And it was so hot. I just want to come in just this. Hold on, look. There we go. Is this what the managers want to see? This? Is this what they want to see? Tell me. Because I'll go into it. I'll go and work like this. And I also kind of hate wearing these because like, I don't know, it's just kind of like demoralizing. And I also wanted to talk about the high turnover rate at Amazon. Amazon was a super, super, super high turnover from what I saw. Everyone I started with, which was like a group of 10, they were gone after like, like six months. Tops. Well, after that first year, everyone was gone. <laughs> it was just me. And I had to make new friends. And I also read that like, if your job has like a super high turnover rate, then there's something wrong with your job. And maybe, maybe that was true for Amazon, I'm not sure. Like, I would see new faces at Amazon, and after like two weeks, they would be gone. And I would never see them again. And that happened every week. The bad thing about working at Amazon is that the work gets too tedious, or it gets too unfulfilling. And that's what happened to me after, after like a year and a half. At first I didn't mind it because, you know, we got a job to do, so we gotta do it. But after like a certain amount of time, it's just like... I don't know, things just felt so hopeless, like, I had so much more potential than what I was doing, and I just felt kind of stuck, so, so I quit. Another con about Amazon, managers are like a hit or miss, man. There are some managers that actually give a f about you, but then there are other managers that just don't give a f man, like, they'll just like, let the whole place burn down before, like, they give any f Some of these managers were hired from the floor. So once they got that little bit of power, it just, it changed them forever. Like, I knew them when they were on the floor, like one of us, like super chill, like 
down to earth, but once she got that power, it changed her. Like, she would be super condescending, don't talk back to me, and like, pick that shit up. It was just, she was just totally different, like, never the same again. Just because she got that power. And that's not to say that could happen at just Amazon, it could happen anywhere. But I'm just telling you, I'm warning you, this happens at Amazon too. you're an open-minded person like me, you'll have fun until you don't. <laughs> I think Drake said it best, you only live once. Yeah, some final thoughts, just to recap. Just enjoy your time there, make some friends, find people you like working with, and then collect these Amazon shirts. They're actually pretty high quality, not gonna lie. One last thing, I just want to thank every viewer who subscribed because I just hit 100 subscribers. Thank you so much. It means so much to me. I know it's not a lot, but thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, guys. This is like a little notification every time someone subscribes. And every time someone does, it always makes me want to dance a little. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Um, good luck if you're going to work at Amazon. And I'll see you around.